That's right, it's time for us to play a little bit of Fallout 76. We have four hours to see how far we get. And I am going to jump right into character creation, I think. Uh, I'm going to make... So this was my original one. So we're going to go ahead and make a new one. And Violet would like to make a mermaid. Ooh. So... <laughs> I don't know what that'll look like, but we'll definitely give it a shot. I Mermaid with what color hair? Blue hair? Green hair? No hair? What are the hairs of a mermaid? Hmm. So this is a game that's coming out, I think, fully be released in uh, mid-November. But here we go. Red hair. We can make the mermaid with red hair. War. War never changes. In 1776, this great nation accepted that armed conflict was the only way to preserve our rights to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. If our founding fathers could only see us now. From Antietam to Amiens, Okinawa to Anchorage, we have fought. And now, the Red Menace is at our doorstep. Democracy itself is under threat of annihilation. That is why today, July 4th, 2076, 300 years after our great nation began, we gather together to honor the completion of Vault 76. This sprawling underground shelter may have been engineered by Vault Tech, but it was built by you, the good people of America, so that if the bombs do come, if the end does come, our way of life will endure. But not everyone will be saved. Those chosen to enter this vault must be our best and our brightest. For when the fighting is stopped and the fallout has settled, you must rebuild. Not just walls, not just buildings, but hearts and minds, and ultimately, America itself. So as we stand here today, we pray that the world will know peace. But if that is not our destiny, if war must come, we stand together knowing that here in Vault 76, our future begins. And here we go, folks. This is the character creation. So we have to... So those of you that may not be familiar with Fallout lore, the Overseer is kind of like the leader of the vaults. Um, so it looks like we have uh, some default faces here. Uh, this freckled lady looks quite lovely. Uh, any thoughts in the chat? Like, I'll run through them one more time. This is kind of my lead right now. Actually, everything about this looks really good. <laughs> I like the green eyes. I like the hair color. Uh, whew. 
You like the pixie cut. Okay, Connie, you're gonna, I don't know what a pixie cut is. Let's, um, how do I do this? Grime? <laughs> Should we make her like all dirty? Trench warfare, mud and blood, radiation dust, splattered, or a cold miner effect? Uh, no, I think we're, we probably don't need that. I don't know if we need any scars or anything. Oh, is the pixie cut the hair I have? Okay, all right. Mm hmm Now. Hmm, now I need a name. Well, let's say... Let's go with that for now. <laughs> so we got this done. So I think that was back in uh main Okay, so uh you heard it's random people talking because this game is like multiplayer. Uh I'm gonna turn off the random people. I need all of you to myself, if that makes any sense. Okay, so we've got Maxine. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, Maxine is kind of a messy, messy human being. Uh, bear with me here. I'm not sure if I've got the right audio here. Seems a little quiet. Let's crank that up a little bit. Uh, I can't have any of the music playing in this game, or any of the radio, I should say, because of the there's issues with content ID flags and all that kind of good stuff. Okay, so uh, we can definitely uh, play some guitar. Yeah, I like Maxine too. Maxine's a cool name. <laughs> kind of random. She's actually quite good. Enough of that, Maxine. We're gonna go to our little computer here, our terminal. So we have a couple things here. So we're gonna go ahead and play the holotape. So we have Nuka Tapper. So this is a game. I think it's based off of some root beer game. <laughs> so this is a game within a game, if you can imagine that. Uh-oh, this one threw me a little bit of uh, glassware back at me. So this might seem a little random, but um, this is how we're trying to push them back so that they don't... Uh-oh. Get up here and give this guy his drink. Here we go. And that's how you finish the level. You push them back. I'll do one level and then we'll get on with this. There we go. So we're gonna go ahead and exit out of here. Uh, this is just one of those Easter eggs that you'll find and we're gonna take that with us. So let's find out what we have here. Uh, there's a little bit mix of audio and there's gonna be a lot of text. So I'm not gonna necessarily read all of the text but um, certainly some of the key tasks, text here. So really this is 25 days, 25 years after they were stuck in the vault and they were stuck in the vault in 2076. So this is, if I do the math, 3001. And it's time for us to leave the vault. 
it's time for reclamation day. So there's going to be a little bit of tutorial as we work through this stuff here. Got some smooth jazz in the background. The game is very fluid and uh, well, I mean, what else can I say? Uh, we're not going to see a lot of this clean environment <laughs> when we get outside because it's based on a post-apocalyptic kind of environment, right? So it looks awful pretty in here. But we're buried underground, so we're ready to leave the vault. Here's our little, uh, call this our iPad, if you will, or strap that onto our arm and we're good to go. So it gives us a little heads up display. And then if we go here, we can basically, we're gonna be humming, humming around here quite a bit. Um, items is kind of like your inventory, weapons, apparel, aid, etc. cetera. Uh, and then data. So this is gonna be kind of our quests. And we're not going to really have any radio on at all. Unfortunately, when you live stream this kind of game with the radio, it's it's pretty rough. Uh, did I actually turn it off? I don't know if I did. I just turned it on. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to run the sink because I am wasteful. Oh, it auto turned off. It auto turned off. So the sink. Oh, I thought that was a spider. So we're going to go ahead and get out of here. We'll do a little bit more tutorial. So this is the... Mina is happy to be here. Just know that Vault Tech is proud of you. I am proud of you. When you hear this, it means I've been gone for several hours. I've got my own mission out there in Appalachia. This is the Overseer signing off. So the Overseer has left the vault and left us here to basically fend for ourselves. And Maxine is the only one left. She must be the last one to leave. Early game, we're going to be looking for this Overseer and tra tracking her down. Ooh, there's our robot friend. What's this guy's name? This is called Crutchley. Hey Alex, welcome back. We're going to play a little bit of soccer. Uh, typical Fallout games, you cannot see your feet. That is, uh, that's actually one of the mods that you'll find for any of the older Fallout games. Is you, a mod to add your feet. Hey, shoots the scores. Oh, that's actually not a net. Anyways, uh, there's other rooms in here, but it seems like we're the last ones to be here. There's a lot of cool kind of objects that are quite... Uh, Famous for previous follow games. Sugar Bombs being one of them. So we're going to go ahead and get out of here. The voices might be a little low. So bear with me here for a second. Let's get my map up so I can get to the menu. I got to find that sweet spot for the audio. Uh, let's turn the music down a little. Come on. Let's get that up a little bit. Okay, here we go. This is a bit of a sneak peek. We're going to get out there and we're going to explore lots more. So we have. Eating raw meat? Bad. Eating irradiated raw meat? So, 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 so bad. <laughs> All right, worthy, relax, buddy. Hey, I want one of these hats. Hey, wait, do I actually have a hat? Let me uh, check it out here. Uh, this game does have a hunger meter and a... Oh, I just have a jumpsuit and a thirst meter. So we're gonna have to keep an eye on that. Before you go, don't forget, you've got to eat. There's also third person view. So here's our character here. Uh, that wheel is in my way. So we'll play like this for a little bit. Thank you for staying with vault -Tac. Remember, Mom, Radex to prevent radiation sickness, Rad away to cure it. 
So we're going to be having lots and lots of radiation in our lives. Outside of a little elbow grease, you'll be powering up West Virginia in no time. Yeah, Alex, I hear ya. There's, uh, this time of year is always crazy for game releases, right? So, gotta pick and choose. Oh, there's our party hat. Yay! I think it's time for us to wear our party hat. Woo! Party! <laughs> Heck of a party last night, eh, Mum? Good to see you all together one last time. Drunk, joyous, and not staving off horrible death. So I, uh, I've played all the previous fallouts and, uh, you know, I think they each have their own quirks and what have you's, but at the end of the day, I know there's a lot of hate on Fallout 76. I don't see it. I think it's its own fallout and it's got a bit of Fallout 4 and a little bit of multiplayer thrown in if you want to. I, it feels to me like a combination of Fallout 4 and Destiny. communication because whoever is listening to this had the moxie to try to find out where I've gone but I'm glad you did truth is I need your help I've been given a task and I've decided to break protocol and tell you what it is because if there's one thing I've learned in these past few years it's that we need to rely on each other there were three active nuclear silos in Appalachia before the bombs fell. They blew up the world before. We can't let it happen again. So we've got to locate and secure all of the silos. Or die trying. Hopefully the former. But it's been 25 years. I just don't know what we're gonna find out there. Or where to start. My directive was to go to the nearest population center and assess the situation. I'll set up a camp on the way once I get my bearings. Find me there. So yeah, so we have to go find the overseer. Oh, it sounds like there's another random person in the room here with me. So yeah, 21 oh Oh wait, I did that wrong. So it's the year is 2000. 101. So this report would have been a year ago. There you go. I know, mom, it seems very British, doesn't it? When you hear the words mom. My real name is Ken. That's uh, my first name, anyways. Okay, let's go glamping, everybody. Is the key to survival and rebuilding, so use it often. Wait, did we have four already? Oh, we did. Join a team! Strength in numbers! Glimping made easy! All this vault tech we can't actually touch. We're all in this together. Remember, adaptability is key. If your role isn't working, try another. Get creative. Get a job, people! So let's see, do I- oh, I have glasses now too? So let's have a look. I'm thinking I'm looking quite dazzling with my glasses and my party hat. Oh, it's time for us to get out of here. Uh, with the organ scale part, I actually, uh, I didn't realize you're supposed to place the parts on, like, the top of the peg. Um... I did find the hammer, by the way, Alex. Okay, so here we go. Before we go, what's over here? Security terminal. So this is kind of a standard follow three. Lots and lots of terminals to read. Uh, one thing that this game doesn't have, like follow three and four have, is a lot of interactions with uh, of NPCs. Yeah, I know. I need the Barbie, right? Where's Ken's Barbie? 
So this is pretty much a soft... Uh, yeah, kind of re going through this a little bit quickly here, but if you need to pause, I guess that stuff you want to read it or like get the game. I mean, that's really the best way to describe it. I just want to get out of here. Maxine is super eager to see the world. Whoa, don't get squished by this thing. Vault gate. Let's go. So Lindy was my other character that I created, my first character actually. It's going to flash up a bunch of stuff. Basically when you take a screenshot, it puts it in the loading screens and randomizes it, which is pretty cool. Oh, you have to perfectly weigh them. See, my strategy was to kind of get a relative weight, right? So that's what I was trying to do. Relative weight and then kind of just score them that way. But So very uh, colorful. Uh, oh, here's a random. Here's a random. So these are random human beings. Hey, random human being. So I could join them or I could just go off on my own. I mean, I don't know them, so why would I join them? Catman and Grimdork. This is a gorgeous game. This is one of the things I really like about uh, Fallout 76. The colors are absolutely fantastic. Now, this is taking place in West Virginia. Mountainous. Uh, very mountainous and obviously not like desert like the uh, Fallout 3 New Vegas was. And here we go. Uh, this is where the loot happens. So I've got myself my first weapon. I'm going to go ahead and activate my weapon. And let the shooting begin. I'm not sure what I prefer. First person or third person. Ow. You're not very nice. The scenery is gorgeous. I could totally agree. These are little Russian bots here. Or Chinese bots. I don't know. Communist bots. Because the communists have overtaken America. So this game is really about the loot. I mean, there's obviously, uh, you know, missions to do, but it's really about the loot. So I'm going to hotkey up my pistol so I can switch. So early game, we're really just trying to get our bearings straight and gather up some basic loot. And get familiar with the controls. I think I can get on this bus. Now the way this loot works with multiplayer is if somebody was here like five minutes ago, then they would have looted this already. But if I waited here maybe half an hour, then it would respawn. So it's kind of interesting how they handle that. We're gonna pick some flowers. So you can hear some random people shooting and that's kind of my sole experience with this. Not playing, you know, ganging up like Borderlands or something is. There's like a human being over there shooting at something. And I can either decide to play with them. Oh, that's cool. I don't actually have anything to... Come on. Ah. I actually need a weapon. <laughs> We're all punching these things. I need like a baseball bat or something. Because I have no ammos for this gun. Oh, a knife. A knife will do the trick. Oh, I just turned on my light. Oh, and I've got a pool cue as well. So I think what I'll do is I'll hotkey... Um, let's see, the pool cue and I'll hotkey the combat knife so that way I can just sort of switch between them and I have something to hit them with okay so that's that without the ammo you gotta start with something and then we'll go ahead and uh, caps are the money so we need lots of caps oh random cat man stalkers 
Uh, how many people are watching? It looks about uh, 30 people or so. Boiled water. We can't just drink any old water. It has to be boiled water. Like, check out this tank. It looks cool. I assume that's America. Ah, oh, there we go. Now we got some ammos. Nine on Twitch? Yeah, and I think there's like 25 on uh, YouTube. Something like that. So let's get on with this. We're looking for the Overseer. Like, check out this cool looking tank. It's a, kind of a mixture of like 1950s, 1960s post-nuclear uh, sort of vibe to this game. Like, just look at this car. This car looks like it's from the future, but it's actually not. Uh, let's look at our map. Where are we actually trying to go here? So these dots are other human beings that I've kind of bumped into. Here's a wanted guy. So this is what a human being that's basically shot at somebody. So that's where I have to ultimately go. Hmm. Colors look gorgeous. Doesn't that look gorgeous? So I'm, I think I'm actually going the wrong way. Oh, who did that? Now these enemies that were just killed, they will respawn over time as well. Somebody's around me. Oh, there he is. Mole rat. Ow! Mole, mole rat meat. Uh, yes, please. Oh. So there you go, they, all of them have respawned. Holy cow. Ow, ow, ow. No time to loot, gotta shoot them for, or pool cue them first. Ow. I have to decide what kind of character I wanna go with. Do I want a, a Gunsy one, or do I want like a, a melee one? I only need, I like how the all these robots have propaganda flyers. It's kind of neat, actually. Their mission is not only to harm people, but also to spread the propaganda. So I think we have to go this way and pick some flowers while we're at it. So we're gonna head down here and pick more flowers. Look at the beautiful fall colors. Look at that. This is not fall at New Vegas, that's for sure. So we're looking for the overseer's camp. Again, this is more tutorial at this point. We have about uh, three and a half hours left for today and then there'll be another beta open up or another hour or beta session tomorrow. So I'm going to play this until the beta shuts tonight. Oh! Sit still, mister. Ooh, this guy's got a treasure map. Tick blood sack. So now we just have to find that location and dig the treasure map. That's the trick. We got a little hut over here. This is my typical experience with um, follow games. It's like, I want to go there. Oh, what's this shiny thing over here? Oh, and what's this shiny thing over here? <laughs> it usually takes me three times as long to get to where I need to go. So uh, this whole game, apart from like killing and questing, is about the crafting. So, um, yeah. So what we'll do here is, uh, I'm not going to really do much. Let me just actually get out of here. Can you hear me? Uh, are you in this game? Because <laughs> I turned off people's voices, yeah. So this is one of my favorite features they've added to Fallout 76. Uh, hello, scrap all junk. 
Yes, please.